Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got Winchester PowerPoint, both the 150 and 180 grain versions in 308 Winchester. And here's my test rifle, a Ruger American Gen 1. Yes, I did the custom paint job myself. It's got a 22 inch barrel and I did have it threaded for a suppressor. And of course I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on here. I've got 308 stamped on the front and a white tail buck on the back. Check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. I'd love to make you one. I'll be taking three shots into ballistics gel from 100 yards. So let's shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting those 150 and 180 grain Winchester power points out of the 308 Winchester. We did catch all three from both grain weights, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here are the 150s right here. Penetration, it looks like we got about 21 and a half. 22 and a half it's kissing and then this one is kissing 24 inches pretty tight spread there on penetration and expansion looks really really nice and coming on back to the first block we've got some nice wound cavities these slap the block around pretty good by about the one inch mark they're opening up coming on back and then they taper off completely by 11 to 12 inches but really they start tapering off a little earlier 10 inches or so and then they just keep on penetrating through this is what you want to see from a classic deer load and then for the 180s penetration is a little deeper which is what you want to see with heavier bullets there's one right here at we'll give that one oh that's kissing 26 we'll give it 26 inches right on the edge this one right here is at 27 inches and then there's one way down there at 27 and a half inches i'll come around to this side and see if we can see them a little bit better in there there we go now we can see those two a bit better expansion looks really good just like the 150s it'll be interesting to dig these out and compare Let's go ahead and come on over to the first block and take a look at the wound cavity. Similar to the 150s, they expand very rapidly by about the one inch mark. They're opening up, coming on back, and then these keep going a little bit more. They taper off a little deeper, 12 to 13 inches, and then they just keep on penetrating. But it gets skinny. I mean, I guess it gets skinny about the same point. About the nine inch mark, it starts getting nice and skinny on that wound track and we can see some lead in there there's some chunks of lead all in there not surprising these are you know a budget lead and copper bullet they're not bonded or anything from what i understand same on the 150s we've got chunks of lead and little pieces of jacket and stuff in there so we did shed a little bit of weight but they do slap up front let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look all right, y'all, we've got those Winchester power points dug out of the blocks. We've got the 150s on top, the 180s on bottom. Let's hit all the metrics. Weight retention for the 150s, 123, 132, and 137 for an average of 131 grains. That's 87% weight retention. Not bad for, you know, as classic and simple of a bullet as this is. It's not bonded or anything, nothing fancy. Most of it's still there. I'm pretty happy with it, especially considering the expansion we'll talk about in a second. For the 180s, we saw 156, 158, and 162. For an average of 159 grains, that's 88% weight retention, so nearly identical percentage-wise. On to expansion for the 150s, 0 0.66, 0 0.68, and 0.69 inches for an average of 0.68 inches expanded diameter. And look at how evenly expanded they are all the way around nice and nice and concentric. It's not, you know, jagged shards here or there. It's the whole thing and very consistent too across all three bullets. And that works out to 2.2x expansion. For the 180s, we saw 0 0.65, 0 0.67, and 0.69 inches. So almost identical for an average of 0 0.67 inches expanded diameter. And that also works out to 2.2x expansion. The difference being one one hundredth of an inch compared to the 150s. Absolutely phenomenal expansion for both of these. Velocity wise for the 150s, we saw 2901 for the high, 2856 for the low, for an average of 2879. These things are going fast. These things were cooking versus the factory build velocity of 2820. So we came in 59 feet per second faster on average 
then the factory stated velocity absolutely phenomenal. If I can pick between a hot loaded ammo and a weak ammo, I want the hot loaded stuff and this is that. And that would give us an estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards of about 2,677 feet per second. For the 180s, our high was 2,589, our low was 2,576 for an average of 2,583 versus the factory build velocity of 2,620. So the 180s came in 37 feet per second under factory spec, that's still pretty darn close. And again, we're using a 22 inch barrel. Most 308 hunting rifles do have 22 inch barrels with another two inches like the factory's most likely, I'm sure they're using a 24 inch barrel. I have no doubt we'd chew up that 37 feet per second. And that would give us an impact velocity down there at 100 yards of about 2,402 feet per second. Penetration wise for the 150s, we saw 21 and a half 22 and a half and 24 inches for an average of about 22 and a half inches. So great penetration past that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. And onto the 180s, we got a little bit more penetration. It's always good to see that when you go from the lighter bullet of a particular type to the heavier bullet, same bullet, you know, just heavier and getting more penetration. It makes sense. You would think it would happen. Sometimes it doesn't. Good to see when it does. 26 inches, 27 inches, and 27 and a half inches. So very consistent for an average of about 27 inches of penetration. If you're going after some bigger game, maybe go with the 180s, go a little deeper. And kinetic energy wise for the 150s going on average 2,879 feet per second, we're looking at 2,760 foot pounds at the muzzle and 2,387 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And that's one of the stronger 308 loads I've tested. And for the 180s going on average 2,583 feet per second, we're looking at a little bit less, 2,666 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,306 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Winchester PowerPoint ammo, the 150 and 180 grain loads for the 308. It's been around for a long time for a reason. Both loads, both bullet weights performed excellent across the board. I personally have used Winchester PowerPoint in several calibers to take deer and wild hogs. It's always performed really good. The one knock that people will give it, you know, if you search around online and you know social media and stuff, You'll find a lot of people saying that your Winchester PowerPoint ammo is not the most accurate stuff in the world. Well, I've shot an awful lot of it, and while it's not match grade accurate, it's plenty accurate to hunt deer, wild hogs, black bear, and stuff like that with at reasonable and typical ranges. Now, if I was setting up a rifle specifically for longer range hunting, I'm not sure I'm going to be using Winchester PowerPoint ammo. I'm probably going to go with you know, some more specialized ammo that's, that's better for that kind of stuff. It'll, it will give me those tighter groups, but it's, it's definitely minute of deer. That's for sure. And I can personally vouch for its performance on game. It does the job. So which one would I pick? Well, if I'm going after something bigger, I'd go with the 180s, something a little bit more standard size. The 150s would do just fine as would the 180s. And really the difference isn't all that great. If your rifle likes one over the other, shoots into a little bit tighter group, might just go with that. If you've used Winchester PowerPoint specifically in 308 or anything, let us know down in the comments how it did for you. And make sure you check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. Everything is handmade by me just for you. Cartridge cuffs, slings, even coffee mugs showing off all your favorite hunting cartridges. Perfect for deer camp. And I bet if you head over right now, there's a great deal waiting for you. I look forward to serving you through my leather work. The link is in the pinned comment or just type shopmasonleather.com into your web browser. And if you want early access to all my videos, become a channel member. The link to join is in the pinned comment. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.